set the name of that class to be template finish and put your uh, members in here save that come back to template.jsp uh, change this to at page import equals template or excuse me jsp dot star close the string format uh, give it a this scroll down so this will be template dot this will be template dot this will also be template dot and this will be template dot okay we'll save it these red line lines go away format it uh, so now we are going to be using that class uh, so let's clean this up I believe that this uh, let's look real quick uh, see that everything is shown up right let's look at it in an actual browser so that we're not just going off of a eclipse here so this looks this looks about right how I want it to show so we'll minimize that and we will come to our template and we're going to externalize these files so the CSS right here we don't need it there anymore instead we should put it in our CSS folder a new file and we're going to call it template.template.css and we will paste the CSS here format it if it needs it save it and uh, come back here and for the style instead of having a style tag we'll have a link tag and the uh, rel is style sheet and the href is uh, css slash temp template dot css save that um, let's just change the order of this so that people don't really have to look for the title meaning you don't have to really look for the title. Here's the title right here, or you can put the title at the very top to make it even easier. Uh, format this. Uh, come back here. Refresh it. Make sure CSS is still working. Come back here. Make sure CSS is still working. We can review source and see that there is no style in here. Um, and we can see that there's no JSP. It's all been pre-processed by the server and we see that this class is being wasted here it's a waste of bytes so let's get rid of it uh, this class is useless save it and refresh it's obviously not going to change anything so that's your dynamic template uh, uh, next we'll be validating a form using uh, JSP I'm Logan Murphy and I'll see you next time